Okay, so obviously um, you can see the cable screen is clamped over there, um, and that one as well, and it comes to a plug. And I think you asked, um, you know, what do you do with the screen on the, on the other side of the cable, which is, it's a pretty valid question. So for me, um, the best way to do this, and I hope I can get this in the shot. Right. So um, you basically want to trim back some sleeving, and don't be shy, just... Uh, you can trim back quite a bit and always trim it back later if you want. Trim it shorter if you want. And don't be too worried about damage the, damaging the cable because there's a screen. Okay, so you pull off the insulation and this little bit of paper. Okay, so you end up with something like that. So you just push down on the, on the screen so the braid sort of uh, comes, uh, gets a little bit loose. And then you take yourself a precision screwdriver and you just make a little gap in the braid over here by just by pushing apart the braids okay so then what you can do is you can get in there and obviously without damaging the cable there's a little bit of insulation in there as well so you pull out one one conductor at a time all right so i've got here's our red one all right we've got some of this fiber that Faruna uses to keep the cable flexible. Okay. Like so. And there's a blue one. green and then we've got another one hiding in there black okay so we've got all our cables out that paper will normally just pull out we've got a couple of pieces of string in there still so we'll pull out that last piece of string okay so then you're left with a nice straight braid like that you can pull straight and give it a bit of a twirl at the end just to neaten it up a bit. Right, the pieces of string we can just trim off. We don't need those. Those, right. So then, I don't know how much you can see, but you should end up with a cable like that. One, two, three, four wires and a nice neat braid. That's sort of, is it focusing? Somewhat. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. What you want to do then is get yourself some biggish sleeving and you can pop that over like so. And you get yourself some narrow sleeving for the um, for the screen. This is just because when you put it in the connector, you don't want it rubbing up any of the pins, rubbing up against any of the other pins. Right, so then what you do then you get yourself a little gas blowtorch or a heat gun, whatever your pleasure. And Shrink that down. Like so. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so anyway, what you're left with is something like that. Any, any tech worth his salt will put, will put sleeving on like that, on the end over here and over here. Um, it's just so, um, it looks neater. Um, and also, you don't, you, know, you don't have any exposed sort of shield wiring here. Just, you know, the whole thing looks neater and the, and the tech who's done it obviously takes pride in his work and would, there, would therefore most likely know what he's doing as well. So what you're left with is something that looks like that and then what you, obviously what you can do is you can trim these a little bit shorter as you need to and then solder them in the connector. 
and uh, you can choose whichever one your shield wants to go in. Obviously make sure that it pairs up with the shield inside this connector. And that's it. There you go.